Well, hello there. What's up, dudes? Welcome back to Atlas Horizon. I am Steven Thomas. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can work on your quick kill skills inside of Battlefield 1. And this is something that you'd be actually doing on an empty server by yourself, so there's no added stress of any other players. Some of us out there can get really frustrated when you're trying to compete against people online. And yes, having a moving target is definitely an effective way to do this, but here's also another way you could work on either your melee skills or your sneaking skills as well as your precision aiming as well and you could do my method also to time yourself so that your reaction times will get better your your twitch reactions so what you want to do is go from your home screen go ahead and click on over to multiplayer then what we want to do is go down into server browser once you see this go ahead and go on the right hand side and under game modes, I don't think this really matters, but for the purposes of this video, I'm going to go ahead and choose Conquest. On maps, this is the important one. You want to choose Ballroom Blitz. Make sure that you have that checked. And also an important side note, I don't think a lot of people realize this. I didn't even realize this until the other night. But there's no scroll bar here, and you can actually scroll down though. So there are a couple other ones that are listed that I played before. I just didn't think about it when I went to this stuff. So choose Ballroom Blitz. Free slots, doesn't matter. Game size, doesn't matter. And then just find one that doesn't have anything going on. Preferably choose a ping that's really low. You can actually click this and then it'll organize what the order rank of the pings are as well. Wait, why didn't it do it that time? There we go. Now it did it. And there's 0 out of 64. So we're going to go ahead and click on this one. Click on join. Wait for it to load. And then I'm going to show you guys the next step. So we're officially inside of the round. What you want to do is go ahead and doesn't matter which side you choose, just go ahead and choose the class that you would prefer to use yourself. Okay, so now that that part's done and you've killed yourself, you restarted, go ahead and go back to the previous position where you were at. And in this zone, you want to go ahead and attack the next zone. And because I'm using a sniper gun, first shot that I do, I want to go ahead and choose an object that's a bit further away. That way then we work on our farther distance skills. Go ahead and attack it. Once you hit it, the round's been started. And you can go ahead and start attacking everything else that you got. Don't forget, imagine as if they are actual opponents. And this one here, too, I also want to show this out. I think this is good. Uh, I'm going a bit slower at this point. But I think this is good because this is lower. You can also work on abilities where if somebody's crouching down and you need to try and melee kill them, you come up like this, and you have to actually be kneeling down yourself to hit it. So, working on those combo skills. And once again, we got some of these here. I should have reloaded sooner. And that's why I should also keep a little bit of track of how many bullets that I have. Lean around the corner. Lean around the corner. There we go. And then, boom. We got that zone done. Then you move on to the next zone. Got an extra grenade. Once again, it's incendiary. But if you have a standard frag grenade then you could do that now on to the next zone that i want to show you guys which is going to be more about focusing on headshots and how you could do this this next part is working on the headshots as i mentioned and that is a head that's a stone statue head and this is why i really like this map is because there's lots of statues that you can look around at either the creatures or the actual like face looking people and they're at different distances of where you're at as well. So you can always work on trying to hit these objects while you're moving around. And like there is a head. I think I was a little bit high on that one. Got you there. Do quick shots there while you're in transition of movement. So maybe you're moving along like this. And then you go ahead and drop on down. Slide across. Drop down again. Hit the one that's on the back end there. See if there's anything off in the distance. There's one right there. Went ahead and got that as well. And yeah, so you could work on it doing this method on top of everything else. As soon as you see something that's up in that zone, go ahead and try and hit it as quickly as you possibly can. This one, you can't really do much of a timer with. But what you can do is just working on trying to spot them as quickly as possible. So as soon as you start to see something that resembles a head, go ahead and shoot it. Unfortunately, the stone statue heads, they don't get destroyed or anything. But this is still a very good method that you could use to practice. And it does look like some other opponents are starting to come inside this zone. I've been hanging out here for a little while, so I'm going to probably get hurt by the barbed wire. But you can climb over into this zone, still do the same thing like I was talking about. Maybe you want to work on your zooming around. Boom, there's one there. 
and even maybe even try to just do really really quick shots with this so if you're running across get ourselves reloaded and then as soon as you see one try and just fire it off as quickly as possible possible boom i think i actually did get that one yes see look i'm already getting better just by trying my own methods but you're not always going to hit the stuff but if you uh work on it this way you don't have any added pressure if you miss your shots or anything like that but see now i'm getting really really sloppy but it's also a further away shot and trying to i think i got it that time if you do a quick shot probably best if you wait a second for after you do shoot it because uh like with the sniper gun here i shoot it and it has some time if i click again then it reloads and then i can go ahead and try and do the next shot and yeah so Guys, you're all going to be moving at your own pace with this kind of stuff, but this is some methods that I feel could really help you out with getting better. Don't forget to use your environments for protection. You don't always want to be out in the open. Explore the map. Try and figure out what zones are really good for you if you're a sniper class. Traditionally, you want to be working from a distance. I like to do a little bit of combo myself. So if I'm up close in quarters combat, then what I do is I place down some traps for people. And uh, you can also switch over to your pistol, your secondary weapon. Feel free to totally use this method to also explore switching between weapons. So if you know that you're going to be running out of ammo with one, you can switch over to the other. Oh, I ran out of both. <laughs> you see what it is that I mean, though. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you out. If you did, feel free to zap that share button. If you liked the video, like the video. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. And I will see you guys later.